Sample problem 15.5. Write Kp expressions for A, PCl3 plus Cl2 goes to PCl5, B, O2 plus H, 2H2 goes to 2H2O, and C, F2 plus H2 goes to 2HF. And this is Kp. Remember, these are pressure. So we're going to use the notation Kp, P meaning pressure. And the form is pretty much the same as concentration. It's just you're going to use P for pressure. So products over reactants. So let's do A. PCl5 is a gas. So pressure of PCl5. See the notation? You write the chemical formula of the substance underneath the P. So PCl5. Divide that by PCl3. So pressure of PCl3. And then you got another gas, so pressure of Cl2. All the exponents are 1 because the coefficients in the balanced equations are all 1. Okay, So there's A. Let's try B. B, um, now we have a liquid on the product side. Remember, liquids don't get included, nor do solids. So if there's only one, if there's only a product and the product's a liquid, we just put one, just like we did in the previous sample problem. So one divided by the pressure of O2 divided by the pressure of H2. But notice there's a coefficient of two, so you square it. Okay. And then C, Kp is equal to the pressure of HF. That's a gas, so pressure of HF. It's a coefficient of 2, so you square it, divided by the pressure of F2, divided by pressure of H2. Okay, and there you go. So this is a different notation for Kp. We're using pressure. Same thing, even though the pressures do have units, the Kps don't have units. So when you do calculations using these pressure units, um, in the end, the Kp won't have any units.